musician and band wants free stuff. Instruments, sound equipment, lights, cases, and strings are expensive, and free is always better. Every band wants to feel important and say, we're endorsed by this famous company. You probably can get endorsements for your Christian band. They just won't be the ones you're most likely thinking about. Here's what an endorsement is. Marketing. That's it in a nutshell. An endorsement is joint marketing for both your band and the product or company you're endorsing. The company or product expects to get exposure and sell more products because your band uses and recommends the product. The band expects to get product discounts and gain credibility because the company or product publicizes their use of the product. Here's what an endorsement is not. Validation of your music or your ministry. They are joint marketing. Grammatically, the band can say it endorses a certain product just because it uses the product and likes it. This is not an endorsement by any industry standard. Within the industry, it's considered to be lying if the band claims to endorse or have an endorsement just because you use a certain product. Remember, an endorsement is joint marketing. If the company you're endorsing does not know who you are, you do not have an endorsement. Just as actually having an endorsement gains credibility for your band, lying about having an endorsement, intentionally or not, costs credibility. For example, say the band submits a press kit to anyone, agents, promoters, radio stations, etc., who checks on the claimed endorsements and finds inaccuracies. That person has to decide if they want to continue checking all the rest of the information in the press kit for accuracy or just throw it in the trash. Which do you think they'll do? They trash it most of the time because they cannot risk their reputation and do not have time to check every little detail. Worse yet, there's a good chance they'll remember you as the band who lied. What's expected from the band and the company in an endorsement? The company looking to endorse your band wants to increase the sales of their product. That's all. If you can show that working with your band will probably accomplish that, you will probably get an endorsement. In general, your faith or good works do not matter unless they increase your band's visibility and attendance at shows. That sounds harsh, but it is good business. The band's endorsement responsibilities are to play shows and lots of them. In fact, play lots of high attendance shows. The most commonly thought of companies for endorsements tend to look at bands that play more than 50 shows a year. Use the company's product exclusively and visibly. Don't expect an endorsement from Yamaha if you play a Fender on stage, or if there's a photo of you playing a Fender on your website. Acknowledge endorsements advertise for the company on promotional materials such as press kits and interviews. Truly believe in the product and be able to talk about what makes it better than the competition's similar product. For example, I use these picks isn't much of an endorsement. I have used these picks for 10 years because they're the most well-balanced and come in the best shapes for the way I play is much better. The company's endorsement responsibilities are discounted or free product for the band. Many companies have different levels of endorsement. Most of the levels are discounts on specific product. Generally, free gear is only given to the most famous artists. Public acknowledgement of the band's endorsement by the company. Most companies put a band bio on their website. Requests for the band to play at company events such as trade shows. Note that the company is not a booking agent and also does not expect to pay the band to play for them. The band can better their chances of getting an endorsement by proving that your band is popular and your popularity is rising. Here's some ways to prove your popularity. Have fans and a way to prove it. Many companies will look at how many Facebook friends you have, how you stand on Reverb Nation, etc. Have stats ready that demonstrate the number of your fans is large and continually growing. Have a track record for selling merchandise. Many larger companies want the bands they endorse to be signed to a major label. 
At the very least, you must have records that track your sales. Companies want to be associated with successful bands. One of the main definitions of a successful band is a band that sells lots of merchandise. Get radio airplay and track it. Ideally, the band's songs should be climbing up on the charts. Show that you have more shows booked this year than last and that they're probably shows with higher attendance. What's the process of asking for an endorsement? Most often your management company will solicit endorsements for the band. Bands can solicit endorsements for themselves, but the larger companies like the band to be far enough along in their career to have a management company. A high profile manager lends credibility to the band. The manager sends a specifically designed press kit to the appropriate person at each potential company. These press kits include the usual contents, plus a proposal stating what marketing the band will do for the company. For example, a member of the band will wear a company t-shirt at each show. The company logo will be on the bass drum head. Band members' use of the company's gear will be in each biography on the website, etc. Most of these press kits are sent electronically. Links to some major companies' information about how to get an endorsement from them are below this video. Be aware that most of these companies get 500 or more emails each week inquiring about endorsements. Response time from them is usually in months, not days. Do not hound them. If you've presented a great proposal that really stands out from the crowd, the band will get noticed. If the proposal seems like a way to increase their sales, the company will contact you. What if your band does not have 5,000 Facebook likes, a record deal with a major label, a management company, 50 shows a year, or radio airplay that's hitting the charts? Don't despair. Start small. It's just plain unrealistic to expect to receive an endorsement from a major company right away. For most of us, it'll never happen in our entire ministry careers. The key to getting endorsements is to start small with local companies, then use those small endorsements to demonstrate your marketing success to larger companies. Look at products the band uses regularly. Are any of those locally made or owned? Local businesses tend to support local artists. Local businesses owned by Christians tend to support local Christian artists. By targeting locally owned Christian businesses, you've narrowed the playing field in a way that makes your band look attractive to prospective companies. Of course, the locally owned Christian bookstore and music store are no-brainers for places to start. But there are other possibilities. Here's some unusual places to find endorsements. Do you always take the van's van to the same repair shop? Do you recommend that shop to other people? Maybe they would give you a discount for advertising their shop on your website or putting a bumper sticker on your van. You could even tell a story about how the van broke down and the repair shop went over and above to rescue the band with very fair prices. This is a great update to the band's social media. What about the coffee shop your band hangs out at? Do they offer a punch card for a free cup of coffee after you buy 10? Maybe they would give you cards to pass out at your next local show in return for free coffee the next time your band is hanging out. Would they be willing to supply beverages at your band's next local show? You never know until you ask. How about your band photographer? Do they also do weddings and graduations? Ask for free photos for your website in exchange for a recommendation from the band about where to get some very cool photography. Is there a member of your band that practically lives on a certain locally produced food or beverage? Several music careers have been enhanced through the Drink Milk campaigns. Could these products be advertised in between bands at your shows as contests? Who can drink the most milk fastest? Talk to the people who produce the product. They may have some out-of-the-box ideas on how to work with you. Which local stores give out freebies to their customers? Hats, mugs, pens, etc. Can your band tie them in somehow? Can you promote their business at a show by giving out the freebies and in return you receive a gift card? You will have to get creative and think about which products your band uses regularly. One easy method to do this is to go over your band's accounting for the past year. Which businesses are local and show up as a regular expense? 
Then brainstorm about possible ways to endorse the product. Put your press kit and proposal together and pitch it to the business. Start with the small local companies to have a better chance of getting endorsements. Remember that endorsements are not donations. Look for ways to do joint marketing that benefits the business and the band. You'll find that other businesses like to get on the bandwagon once you have a few minor endorsements. Larger endorsements will come as you continue to work on them and as the ministry of your Christian band grows. Does your Christian band need more places to play? Christian Band Help has a free PDF called the Christian Band Booking Calendar to help you book more gigs. There is no magic formula for booking your band. It requires consistently finding and contacting people who might be interested in your music and your ministry. No one likes to contact people we don't know, including bookers. It's easier for them to contact musicians they already know. So music ministers who don't actively pursue gigs don't get them, because bookers generally book musicians they know and trust. If we don't make the effort to reach out, the band won't have places to minister. I spent years booking and had to learn the hard way by trial and error. It would be wonderful if you didn't have to go through that process. So I'm giving you my strategy free. When you click the link below, you'll get a three-page PDF that outlines what to do each month to get the most possible and best gigs. I can't do booking for you, but I can share the process that worked for me.